back everyone I wanted to give you a little update and the, the goose the geeses are not happy with me you're not gonna fly he doesn't want to fly the other one flew away I don't know which partner that is I can't tell by looking at him but just wanted to give you a quick update I haven't uh, made a video in a while um, been busy f um, well first thing for the past three weeks um, my in-laws have gotten a new house in about a half an hour away from us now instead of two and a half hours away in North Carolina so we had to um, had to move them and prior to that Wendy and I were painting anybody recognize the sweatshirt on Wendy and I was doing electrical and plumbing and staining the deck and just generally doing stuff then we move them uh, all in one day so we moved them from uh, like I said two and a half hours away it was like a three hour trip to get to the new house um, so we've been doing that and then when I got back I needed to cut the grass which uh, I had been unable to do while I was doing all that so uh, I just uh, this this video is going to be based on this new saw that I bought but just want to give you an update of what I've done you can see that the uh, the dock is not floating pretty much the water level is way down if you look and the next thing that I'm going to be doing excavator wise is again I'm going to be moving that big mountain goose mountain all has to be moved down that way and like I said in the previous video I'm gonna remove the finger just because it's it's just impossible to uh, to maintain so and the reason I'm not doing that now is as I've also mentioned in the previous video I'm gonna be having a big bonfire uh, celebration on, on April 16th Friday April 16th for David it would have been his 31st birthday and I've got that big burn pile that's down there that needs to be moved i'm going to move it a little closer to the water it's a little too close uh, when you see the size of the bonfire that it's going to be and how it's going to go up you're going to see why it can't be that close to the trees and i don't want to take a chance on her not firing up well not firing up I'm, I'm it always it always fires up I just don't want anything to break across the lake uh, when I need to uh, drop the thumb again and stack all that up nicely so I'm not going to use the excavator until I stack that up and I don't want to stack it up too soon oh there goes the goose I don't want to stack it up too soon because if we do as I've talked about before but if you haven't heard me say the dam is open in the back and that's what allows the water level here to rise and fall and the main thing is it's it stays down like it is now so I can work on it but if we get a big rain there's a creek in the back there and when that fills up the water comes in and as you've seen in previous videos before the water level will come up to right here where it will be when I finally dam it all up but if I move that pile now to where I'm going to burn uh, and we get that flood, well, half of it will float away. So that's why I'm not uh, using the excavator. That's why you haven't seen it in anything. Um, but again, I've been working on uh, the greenhouse. I'll put a little clip of, not much of it, but there's a little clip I took of that. Wendy's been working on that. And today I am going to um, the privacy walls that I built uh, over a year ago in front of the mansion. Um, down that way uh, I've yet to stain them and they're crying out to me to stain them so I'm going to be doing that today as well but I just wanted to get this video up give everybody a look at the lake again give an update and um, I'll keep you posted on I'll probably make one video of when I do when I do build the uh, bonfire and then um, you know I'm going to videotape the bonfire and the starting of it which uh, i know everybody likes to see those so 
uh, stay tuned uh, enjoy this this uh, video it's you probably won't really care if you don't care about tools or saws but this is a unusual saw so uh, there a couple more coming in those are the two that that are have been using that float so that's a good thing they're going to be nesting very soon so again enjoy the video uh sorry for the lack of uh putting any up for a while but um that happens so again thanks for watching and enjoy the video a little update on the greenhouse the fern that we thought was not going to make it through the winter made it through the winter i don't know what that is what is that raspberry, raspberry. These, what are these? Pastas, rosemary. Pastas popped up like in one day, rosemary. Well, we thought they were dead too. <laughs> that looked dead. These are the trees that we're going to be planting. That one's, they definitely got to get planted. Tomorrow. And what are these? You can tell I'm not the gardener. Left to right, it's a pathetic looking dwarf banana tree, a bay, laurel, a magnolia tree, a fig tree, and strawberry. And it's already got a strawberry coming. A couple of them actually. Well, we got to do that, and the fan is doing its job. And a quick update. Um, we still got to get those trees planted, and the strawberries are growing nicely. And they'll be planted soon, too, as soon as it stops the freeze. mint and these are the trees we got to plant tomorrow is it back there i don't see him it's on the branch of the tree way back oh. you can't see his little eyeballs no. no you won't be able to catch him on that but for you we got to get him on the right side from there All loaded up, getting ready to go uh, stain those privacy walls. So I figured should get a little bit of a machinery uh, in the video as well, instead of just a tool that which will follow. But um, I forgot to mention as well what's taken up a little bit of our time is we have a new addition to the family, um, Gabriel Liam. He was born February 25th and we've uh they live in north carolina and we've seen them uh quite a few times so that's taken up a little bit of our time we've been spending time uh with him as well so i just figured i'd give that little update and i'll i'll throw a picture in there i probably i'll try to splice it in between but if not it'll follow right now Just bought a new saw. 16 and five, uh, 5 16 inch blade. It's for uh, cutting 6 by 6s 
So I couldn't believe how big the box was when they delivered it. <laughs> and of course the guy puts it outside my gate and leaves that facing the street for like so everybody could see what it is. But the whole box weighed about 70 pounds, so I don't think anybody was going to steal it too easily. But uh, you can't really tell how massive it is, except when you put your hand in front of it. You can cut somebody in half with that thing. But just to show you, I got, uh, that's a four and a half inch trim saw, worm gear, uh, trim saw, six and a half inch, seven and a quarter, eight and a quarter, ten and a quarter, sixteen and five sixteen. So just a little bigger than sixteen and a quarter. But, I mean, <laughs> just picking the thing up is going to be a, is going to be a battle in itself, but, um, that's what I cut the six by sixes with. That's that is that ten and a quarter saw is for cutting four by fours. So I got that. The eight and a quarter is if you're going to uh, if you've got to do some some bevel cuts, you can go up to a sixty inch bevel on a two by four with that. Regular size, you really only need a six and a half to cut things with two bys. You don't need to have a big one. And then that's that's a trim saw. So just to give you a little idea of the size but uh yeah the thing weighs uh, 28 pounds without the blade in it so that one's going to be fun next time i got to cut six by sixes so here's another look they give you a a base to put in and i wish they would have made a whole case with the top that would go over it because i'll have to keep the box <clears throat> but it's worm gear worm drive so it clamps to it 15 amp which i'm surprised because that one's 15 amp except that's not a worm that's not getting that worm drive so doesn't have quite as much torque but that one works fine and I always thought always called that the mon I used to call that the monster saw I would say to David get me the monster saw when we'd have to cut four by fours and six by sixes because then I would just cut the rest of it with the with the sawzall and uh, it always worked fine you saw those six by sixes that I cut for the lean-to uh, however many there were 12 or 14 of them but uh, this will be nice to cut it in one shot and uh, it just won't be fun picking it up. Let's see, is that adjustable? Yep, you can adjust the exhaust where the exhaust goes so the dust doesn't blow at you. So, yep, I ended up getting that. It was on sale and I ended up getting it at Walmart. Walmart.com or Walmart something or other. It was some online Walmart and I got it for 600, I think it was 600 bucks, which everywhere else I saw it was between seven hundred and nine hundred and fifty dollars so when i saw it for that price i had been wanting to get it and i should have just got it before but i said well when i saw it for that price i said no i'm gonna get it because even if you only use it once in a while when you need it in that once in a while it's definitely worth having and uh, as you can see i'm not short on tools and that's not even all of them but uh, those are just the ones i've put away so far trying to get this all organized that's what david was working on for me but i've got to do it now but uh just figured i'd give you a quick quick video on that in case anybody's interested give me any questions in the comments below and i'll try to answer them for you but uh good addition to the to the tool fleet and here's a closer look that first video i did was kind of impromptu um and it was kind of bleak outside kind of raining and and um overcast so I figured I'd give a close-up of it so you can see the box and just to get an idea so again that's the that's the uh, seven and a quarter inch that's a normal size uh, circular saw and so that just gives you the, the reference in, in size but um, I mean that's how big the box is that's on that table I mean it's it's massive and a little look from this side see so you can see this is that's a worm gear so I should have gotten another one out um, well, I've got the little one here that I showed you before. So there's a metal gear in there. So it gives it a lot of torque, um, which is nice. But I just figured I'd give a quick look up there. Like I said, I wish they put a whole case with a top that popped over it so that wasn't out. But I'll just keep it in the box. Like I said, I'm not going to use it all that often. And uh, I'll make a couple of cuts in a second uh, 
just so you can see it cut I haven't used it yet either so we'll both see it together and uh, I just got to grab the tripod and set up the other camera so if anybody has any questions just let me know and uh, I'll see you later is nice. Not too shabby. Picking up over your head, well, won't be fun. Well, there you have it. Nice.